Hi, this is Doug Marshall. I recently spoke to John Click about his experience as a craft brewery owner and being an EOS certified implementer. If you want to know more about the benefits of running your craft brewery or any business on EOS, this will be 10 minutes well spent. Well, uh, we're just going to have a quick conversation about uh, how EOS can help uh, craft brewery owners. Oh, how can it not help craft brewery owners? <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's a that's a that's a great way to start. So I'm trying to keep this to about ten minutes, okay. and uh, you know I, I think what might help is if you give a little bit of an introduction about your background, your experience with craft breweries, and how you got into EOS and Gino Wickman and Traction, and also uh, maybe a brief description of what EOS does for a business before we get over to the craft brewery side. Perfect. Okay. So. EOS does uh, three things that we work with leadership teams, and we help leadership teams and entrepreneurs achieve vision, traction, and healthy health, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, vision from the standpoint, we just make sure everybody in the business from top to bottom knows exactly where they're going and how they're going to get there. And then traction is that we make sure that everybody is executing on that vision day in and day out, bringing it down to the ground and uh, working on it with discipline and accountability. And then healthy from the standpoint um, that a lot of times, especially leadership teams, not always working real well together, a lot of strong minds. So we make sure that we're working with a cohesive functioning team that uh, enjoy each other, enjoy their jobs, enjoy the business and just loving what they do. So I personally work with leadership teams and then we migrate all of those disciplines down into the rest of the business. So at the end of the day, we get people, we have companies that then uh, everybody knows where they're going, how they're going to get there. They're working smarter, gaining traction, more accountable in the business and hopefully loving their job. And that's what EOS does help helps provide entrepreneurs, leadership teams and uh, employees. And, and you are a certified EOS implementer. Describe a little bit about what exactly that means in your well, world. So certified uh, EOS implementer means that I've been trained by EOS. Um, mm -hmm. and I've got at least, uh, I, I can't remember what the number is, 50 sessions or something, because I work with people on full day sessions. So, mm -hmm. uh, so there's different levels of status of uh, implementers, and that's what the word certified means. But I've had over 100 sessions. I work with uh, about 30 different clients. But at the end of the day, it just means that we've been trained and uh, on how to do uh, run EOS purely in our in mm -hmm. businesses and make sure that we are teaching it purely to our customers, our clients. Talk a little bit about a little bit about your background with craft mm -hmm. breweries and your your personal your personal background with it. Well, real quick, uh, well, my EOS journey goes back about almost twenty years ago, where I implemented. I hired an implementer to help. I decided to run a business on EOS. Hired an implementer to help me do that, uh, and then so. For about eight years, uh, eight years after that, I decided to leave that business. And that was a marketing company that was catering to the beverage industry. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's what really was my uh, uh, intro to the craft beer industry. I was a craft beer drinker, consumer, big mm -hmm. fan, uh, but never had a, I wasn't a lofty, I wasn't an aspiring brewer by any means. So, but mm -hmm. I did end up starting a brewery and uh, opened up the fourth tap room in Minnesota, became a distribution brewery, Excelsior Brewing Company. Uh, and we turned 10 years old this year. I ran that business on EOS uh, for about seven years. And then I stepped away from that business so that I could go spread the good word about EOS to all the other breweries uh, in the state of Minnesota and beyond. Do you, do you have a, still have an interest in the brewery? Yep. Uh, yes. In fact, I was just meeting with our taproom manager today, going through a mm -hmm. fat tire bike race that we are hosting in a month that I've always ran. So just transferring the knowledge. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That, that, that's great. So, um, <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about EOS. You know, I mean, I, I'm heavily involved with craft breweries out here in the in the Washington State area. And I know that they're just running, you know, a million miles a minute. I mean, it's, it's, it's just nuts. And there's so many things to do. And, you know, I certainly believe that EOS is something that could help, you know, get some things organized and, and under control. Why don't you describe how you feel? that EOS can be of great benefit to a craft brewery owner. Oh, absolutely. Um, so uh, unlike other craft breweries, uh, a lot of times it was a, an aspiring brewer that started with a recipe and they made a great beer and all of a sudden they got some traction and they had, oh my gosh, they had a business on their hands. So, mm -hmm. uh, and so those people uh, is one breed. And then there's people like me even that have business backgrounds that start craft breweries. 
Uh, and um, bottom line, there's a lot of moving plates. So it depends. It doesn't matter what side of that you come from. There's so much action going on in a brewery and so many different things that you need to harness all that. We need mm -hmm. to orchestrate all the moving parts of that. And so that's what EOS really helps because in either one of those situations, especially the, uh, the brewer situation, this is somebody that typically loves brewing beer and maybe not necessarily wants to run the business and mm -hmm. do those types of things, or has the, even maybe the acumen to run the business just because they're, you know, that's business is hard. So at the end of the day, EOS helps basically uh, give structure. It's an operating system. And so it's almost a soup to nuts way to run a business. So takes the guesswork of that out. You still have to do a lot of work, but you can at least follow the system so that especially brewers can do what they love and that's crafting beer. And so yeah. it allows, so that it gets it to, we, we get to the point where uh, the business isn't running them and they can run the business and do exactly what they love. And that's make beer. So that's what it did for me as well. Um, as I, now I wasn't a brewer, so I didn't know the whole mm -hmm technical aspect of the beer industry. So imagine by, you know, starting a brewery from scratch and not knowing anything about beer. I mean, I learned how to make beer and quickly learned that I wasn't the guy making beer So um, for the brewery. So to try to manage all those moving parts when you don't need any, when you don't know anything, um, it was really helpful to have a system to help me up run the business so I could try to grasp those concepts and then quickly find out I just need to know enough to be dangerous and make sure I have the right people in the right seats to get all that accomplished. Well, you said something there that I thought was uh, was uh, pretty intuitive, and that's that you know it's very easy for a brewery operation to start running the owners, right? You know, to, oh, yeah. you know and and it gets it gets out of control. And I, I do think that we're at that point for a lot of those who are in the six to ten year anniversary range, mm -hmm. where you know it's it's become you know, there. It was a tough tough two years you know trying oh, yeah. to get through COVID and everything and then you know all of the other stuff you know losing people and trying to tire the right people on uh you know it it does seem like you know having a system in place that allows you to get more control and more control for your own personal life that makes a lot of sense yeah it's uh again it allows you to run the business exactly is what happens instead of the business running you you know your so, objectives you know your priorities you know your mm -hmm. goals you have regular communication. Uh, and so it's just, uh, it's nice to have a system that you can rely on so that again, you can go make the beer or make the sales calls, do whatever else, but you have people, mm -hmm. all moving parts are uh, working together seamlessly. I think, I think about <clears throat> getting everybody on the team moving in the same direction, you know, Gino's arrows, arrows talk, you know, where everybody is sharing that same vision, getting the right people in the right seats, making it more efficient so that, you know, people can tend to the things they need to do and not have to worry about what other people are doing. And then, you know, regroup, you know, every quarter or so and make sure that everybody's on the same page and that there's, that, that people aren't overworked and people aren't underworked. Right. You know, one of the most, well, there's so many great tools with EOS, but the one I like uh, that I'm going to mention is our accountability chart. And when you start a business, especially if you're your own, your own person, um, you're sitting in all the seats of that business, all the functions, mm -hmm. you're doing everything, right? And then as you hire different people, um, most businesses that don't have a system, all of a sudden, everybody kind of helps out where they can help out. And you kind of know your role. You're in the sales role. You maybe do the books and stuff like that. Well, with EOS, we clarify that with, the, with this accountability chart. So it really can help define what everybody is supposed to be doing. They know where they should be focused uh, and with that, then it allows a lot less chaos, especially at a startup on a brewery, especially because of the fact that um, there are so many tasks that are required so that it's nice to spread those out and everybody be accountable for their five roles. And then they can make sure that every week that we can get together and make sure that they're doing those roles correctly. Um, it's a special thing when that all comes together. Okay, I'm going to put your contact information at the end of this, but mm -hmm. if somebody wanted to ask you some questions and get in contact with you, what's the best way? Uh, well, um, I uh, my email, uh, well, my I have a website that's a lot easier. It takes you right to all, get access to all my email. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, johnclick.com, pretty simple. And my okay. name is, my last name is K-L-I-C-K. -K, so you might, it's J-O-H-N-K-L-I-C-K.com. Mm -hmm. That'll get you to me, uh, show you, uh, get you my cell phone number. I can also give that as well. 612-817-4853. Love texts. Uh, and emails, uh, voicemails, not so good. And calls. I love calls. I'd rather talk in person to people than <laughs> uh, digital, but because uh, 
I, I enjoy that more. So. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for just spending a little bit of time with me yeah. to, to get this word out. And hopefully there, there will be some brewers that will have the opportunity to see this and say, hey, you know, I'd like to explore this a little bit further. And John might be the guy. Uh, and a quick fun fact in closing, I just, yeah. you know, I did some studies here in Minnesota and I found uh, rough math. Uh, I figured about 40 percent of the beer in Minnesota is brewed by breweries that operate their breweries on EOS. So I think there's a lot of uh, that resonates to, uh, and there's a lot of word of mouth and other breweries mm -hmm. that are referring other people into it. So I think it works. Uh, it's been proven here in Minnesota and I think it would work everywhere.